the Neural Connect. Uh, you're showing a uh, solution right here. So hi, so who are you? Hi, uh, I'm Joe from UC Robotics. And we are the manufacturer of this war IV5661. And sit next to me is Home from Unisoc. Uh, hi, so uh, yeah, this is Home. I come from Unisoc. I'm the fellow for the uh, WCN Wi-Fi Wireless Connectivity Network uh, Chip Designer. And uh, we provide the chip in this uh, uh, ball. So, uh, what is this? Yeah, this is a, a new 964 for IoT edition uh, called IVY 5661. It's a uh, Wi Fi Bluetooth single chip solution for, uh, uh, yeah. So, Wi Fi Bluetooth, and it's right here. Mm -hmm. This is the board? Yes. And uh, why is it special? It's great for IoT? Uh, yes. Uh, this uh, board has 2x2 two two 11 AC. It's a very super high speed we can reach. Also, we have the Bluetooth file. I mean, we support the Bluetooth mesh, we support the Bluetooth long range. What is Bluetooth long range? I mean, the Bluetooth signal can transfer 800 meters. That's a very great. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so is, is, a, is the best SOC for IoT? Yeah, it's very high power for CPU, low power, low cost, uh, a lot of memory. With the ARM, ARM Cortex M4? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we have the ARM Cortex M4 with uh, 460 megahertz, and we have about 500 kilobyte uh, memory. So, users can use this uh, platform to develop their own application. And uh, all the Wi Fi, Bluetooth controller, firmware is running a different CPU. We have, uh, the, uh, we have dual CPU, we have second CPU is running the uh, Bluetooth Wi Fi controller. So that is uh, transparent to the user. User only need to focus on their application development with this board. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh, and you do the, the board, you do the CPU? Yeah, we do the yes. chip. Chip. Yeah. And uh, Uni Sock. Uni Sock. Number two in China or what? Uh, big, big company? Um, um, uh, yeah. One of the biggest ones. Uh, it looks like uh, what, how you look at it. Because if you look at the cell phone, because Uni Sock, each chip is for cell phone, or buy a cell phone. It's a number, uh, actually, the number one in the old world, number one is for car, number two is mid head, number three is Uni Sock. Ah, number so, three worldwide. Yeah. Uh, is it a, a uh, collaboration between uh, different Chinese companies, Uni, United? Yeah, we have, because Uni, because our private company name is Spectrum. Spectrum, so it's Spectrum, it's Spectrum and RDA. Yeah, RDA, we call it Unisoc. Now it's Unisoc, no more Spectrum. Yeah, no more Spectrum. It's a new name. Yeah. So it's also in the, smart, in the smartphone business? Yes. Many different places. Yes, smartphone. Now we are looking for the wireless connectivity network. It's a major developer for the IoT and the yeah, smart home application. So what is this demo? Why do you have five here? Okay, so we prepared two demos now today. One is the Bluetooth mesh. We use the Z5 native Bluetooth pair and to uh, test the mesh to work here. Yeah. So mesh is very simple. We just uh, the message sent from this device. He yeah. can send uh, transfer mail to this device. And this device can relay the message to this one. This also can relay the message to this one. It's a mesh. Is it working? Uh, yeah, it's working. I just... Uh, uh, this one. Yeah. yeah. So, with the way I told me, just use button. Button yeah. to control LED. You can see, I click button. It's on. I mean, it's uh, on. And message just change to on, on, on. And I click again. Off. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is a mesh. It's a simple application, and we use a Z5 native stack. It's very easy to use. Yeah, it's a very, pretty, pretty, pretty good uh, stack. And what is your collaboration with uh, uh, Linaro? Uh, yeah, we are, we are the, the, the club member in Lenaro. We joined Lenaro um, six years ago. Yeah, the, we, under a Spectrum name, yeah? Yeah, it's a Spectrum name. We are very like to work with Lenaro together. Open source is very important, right? Yeah, yeah open source is very important. That's why we use the Zipai. The Zipai is a very good software. And uh, I am the SC in Lenaro Light Group. I yeah. joined the SC meeting, think I have status, we are working more security trip today, the TFM, and uh, yeah, I don't see it doing. And uh, what do you think about Linaro? Oh, me about, yeah, um, uh, Linaro is a great, great group 
uh, uh, provide a lot of uh, business opportunities. Yes, opportunities, and uh, yeah, yeah. He, uh, it's it's care about uh, the open source as well, and help the companies, help their uh, SOC companies or manufacturer companies uh, to upstream the code. Yeah. So, uh, what is the software? Is it Zephyr or something else? Zephyr, yeah. Zephyr? Zephyr. Yeah. This is Zephyr, and um, yeah. they provide secure, it provides secure updates, yeah. security. Yes. Let, let, let me show you. So, yeah. actually, this is the second demo. Actually, this is a very interesting demo. So, yeah. this is uh, the board, and uh, let's start from the beginning. I just reset the board. You see the console? Where should I? So, this is your boot. Uh, later, we are put into MCU boot. Then, your boot will load the Z5 OS up then uh, the board is ready so now what i want to do is i want to connect this board to our access point in the room so what i need to do is, uh, because this is an out device right yeah. so there are no keyboard no lcd in the device i cannot uh, yeah. input anything there so what are we are doing is we develop a very simple application we call the bluetooth smart okay this device will uh, make a Bluetooth connection between the phone and uh, the board and uh, we yeah. will configure the board okay so let's uh, start here let's uh, um, scan okay we found a lot of blue device nearby here but uh, what is the device is this one the blue some other um, Bluetooth Mac PDI address so I just simple click okay the Bluetooth is connected to this one and uh, also we contribute to the Wi-Fi manager uh, subsystem in the Z5 and I have phone. I just uh, go back to Wi-Fi manager. And then... Okay, so then I just need to... So in this uh, GUI, we can see the, what the set point I want to connect. I just uh, simple click here. Uh, select uh, what the application says we want to connect and click that connect. So here you can see the scan <laughs> happen. He, the device the board will scan around as the device and yeah. select uh, what the SID I just click here, connect, make a connection. <coughs> so Wi-Fi is connected from this board to the X point, um, uh, like uh, the home gateway or something. So next I went to start the X point service in the board because we went to make this board as our tender. So I just a simple click uh, the start AP. Okay, AP start successful. Okay, then the application can be closed because everything is configured down. So what I can do is I just uh, open my phone and uh, select uh, the point uh, server start from this board is this one and start connect. Okay, that means my phone already connect to this board. This board can use AP. That is uh, the Peter, the mesh, or whatever you call it, right? Then I can test with a uh, YouTube video. Okay, this is uh, one keynote in YouTube video. I just need a simple open there, and uh, we can watch the video from my phone over a ball or go to the AP. Nice. Yeah, this is There's uh, a keynote right there, which is on the. Uh, on it's uh, on YouTube. 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 Yes. Cool. So that means it becomes a access point. Yes. It becomes a mesh. Yes. Uh, mesh Wi-Fi. Yes. It the Wi-Fi signal to the home gateway. And all this over the Zephyr. Yes. Everything running in Zephyr. Okay. What do you think about Zephyr? Yeah, it's great for IoT and uh, have a com complete stack for uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And what do you think? Yeah, I think Zephyr is a very good open source project and uh, it's very easy to use that. Like as a triple provider, it's easy to port in our uh, SOC to support in C5. And also a lot of features there, like Bluetooth stack, like other security features like TFM will be native support there, and MCU boot will support the OT update. Everything is very good there. And so we as a triple provider, we make the job. Also, we will develop a new feature like uh, Wi-Fi manager or something. And we very like to contribute our work to the Z5 too. And uh, because we use Z5, we contribute to Z5. Yeah. Nice. All right, so how much is this? It's not um, released yet. You can choose now on video. How much <laughs> you want to sell for? Okay, I'm uh, Will it be a good price? Yeah, it should be in a good price. 
Yes. And it's, it's part of the 96 boards IoT, what do you call it? Um, yeah. It's not a mezzanine. It's a, it's a, it's a IoT board. IoT board. Yeah. Cool.